Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Headstrong. My name is Lane, and this is a Madden 18 career mode using Leonard Fournette. We are at week 16, two games left. We are playing the 49ers today, but before we hop into that, because that game should be easy, they're 1 and 13. We should be able to manage. We're going to check out the division, see how it's going. So the Titans are 10 and 4. We're 9 and 5. Colts and Texans are 7 and 7. Now let's check out the AFC all together. Nope, that's the NFC, AFC. So the Broncos and the Patriots are pretty much locked in. The Titans, they're obviously, they could lose their final two games. Actually, we play them next week. So they should, they could lose the final two. We could win the final two, get into the playoffs that way. But if we don't win this game, we'll become 9-6. and six, And then we look at all these teams we have to deal with. We don't have to deal with the Bengals because let's. this is the, uh, the AFC West. That's the AFC East, AFC South, and then there would be the AFC North. So we don't have to worry about them. But we do have the Steelers and the Chiefs to worry about. Now, the Steelers, I think, are playing like the Browns and the, the Colts, maybe. And then the Chiefs are playing like the Raiders and someone else. I don't know exactly. So if they win their final two games and we lose one of our two games, we might be out of the playoffs. It also depends which two, one of the two games we lose. We If we lose to the 49ers, but then the Titans also lose this week, and then we beat the Titans next week, it's... We could still get in. It's just weird. So we're going to worry about winning this game and then obviously the next game. So let's hop right in against the 49ers. Here we go. Now, I honestly don't know how long this video is going to be. I can't imagine the 49ers putting up much of a fight. So we might blow them out. This video might be five minutes. It might be six minutes. It depends what they put up. I mean, we still are the Jaguars, so who knows what will happen. But when we get 10 yards on our first run, especially when people hit me, I don't think they're going to put up much of a fight. Look at our season stats. 321 rushes to over 2,000 rushing yards and 18 touchdowns. I need to check out what the, the season like record is for yards and touchdowns and things like that because I feel like that might be a little bit more than a normal running back would get. I, I imagine. I'll have to look it up. I forget who has the lead, the lead. It's not someone you expect. I don't think Peterson beat it that season that he was trying to beat it. At least that I can remember. Why is the clock stopped? What happened? I don't understand. See if we can get a big chunk of change. Oh yeah, this game, this game is gonna be so so easy. Now I was just saying two episodes ago when we played the Seahawks that I think the 49ers are gonna be good. Granted, in this the 49ers don't have Jimmy Garoppolo, and I think that that changes so so much. Jimmy G with Kyle Shanahan, that's just that's so good. Oh. What do you gonna get it for yards there? Maybe three, maybe four? I think it was four. Now, like I was saying, we have to win this game. Obviously, I think it's gonna be easy, but then next week's game is gonna be so, so big. Titans versus Jaguars. Both of them were playoff teams. Obviously, the Jaguars are still in it. Let's get this first down real quick. Yes. Now, I'm recording this like I did my last two episodes before the Jaguars play the Patriots, so the Jaguars might be in the Super Bowl for all I know at this point. I, I highly, highly doubt it, but they could be. I'm just being honest. They were just saying that I'm in the discussion for MVP. Usually when I'm playing against a team, I like to talk about some of their players. I can't really name anybody on defense for them. I think they have Buckner on defense and obviously on offense. They got Pierre Garçon who was injured this season or not the whole season, like midway through the season. They got Carlos Hyde. I don't know if they're going to bring him back. An injury again? Okay, as long as I'm standing, that's fine. Other than that though, I mean Goodwin's not that bad. Selleck's not that bad. I can't think of their other tight end's name. It's going to slip my mind right now. Ooh, I didn't even mean to flip that. Obviously, we're still doing the HP screen. I just accidentally hit the trigger before picking this play. So let's see. Maybe this will work. Maybe we'll get a, a nice receiving touchdown. We don't get those often. Come on. No, oh, no, 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 no. Bortles, I want to make something perfectly clear. If we lose to the San Francisco 49ers and don't make the playoff because of you, I will hate you forever. That, what, 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 what was that? I guess we're going to get a field goal, but what was that? Of course, of course, of course, of course. I talk shit. They score a touchdown. It is 7-3 with 44 seconds left in the first quarter. We're doing the inside zone to the left side. See if we can get a big chunk of change. Juke move. Oh, that actually worked. I actually juked by that guy. I wish I knew anybody on defense. I think they have Eric Reed, who I heard that he doesn't think they're going to bring him back because he, like, kneeled for the anthem or whatever the hell that is. Like, who... Why? I don't think that matters that much. But other than that, like I said, I can't really name anybody. And that's not good because the 49ers defense was pretty decent a few years ago. There is a nice pass. Think about that, though. A few years ago, they were in the Super Bowl with Kaepernick. They had a great defense. They have Jim Harbaugh, who's now, I think, coach in Michigan, if I remember correctly. I don't really watch much 
college football. I pay attention to like the guys that they say are going to be big stars coming into the NFL. But other than that, I don't really watch any games or anything like that. I'm from Boston, so I don't really like watch the, the Eagles or anything like that. I don't even know if they're good. I, I believe they had a really, really bad year. Like, really, really bad. I think they beat one of the teams that they weren't supposed to beat. They were like a high seed. But I, other than that, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't tell you. I could absolutely not tell you. Nice! Rivera. Or Riviera. Is it Rivera? I think it's just Rivera. Riviera. Riviera! Now, we got the ball first. So there's, two, there's 430 left in the half. So we got plenty of time. We'll probably get the ball back at least one more time. On second and 21, we're doing the inside zone to the left side. Let's see. Oh, there's a nice chunk of change. Get by him. Get by him. Get by him. Oh, helmet to helmet. 15 yards. First down. As you know, when we're on the goal line, they give me the ball back to back to back usually, especially on this ISO play. We have Renew in front of us. He should be able to lead us through this line. Uh, get through there. Come on. I don't know if there is a way to do this, but I wish like against the Pittsburgh Steelers when Leonard Fournette just went up and over the top. I wish I could do that because it doesn't seem like... I don't think that's possible, and all the holes get filled up pretty pretty quick. Oh, unless that one I can just walk through. That's going to get us to the one-yard line, and they're going to do another running play. Oh, man. I guess I shouldn't be totally upset that they're going to run it with me again, but we need to score a touchdown right here. About to be the two-minute warning. I'm going to try to get this playoff before the two-minute warning. Get through there. Get through there. Yes. Touchdown, Leonard Fournette. I believe that is our 19th of the season. So it is 10 to 10-7, a minute 44 left in the half. We have all three timeouts. So don't they? So technically, I guess they could call timeouts. They're probably not going to. First and 10, we're doing the HB draw right up the middle. There we go. 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 Come on. Get through him. Get through them. Get that first down at least. Do we call a timeout? I don't think it's necessary to call a timeout yet. Bortles gives me a little bit of a heart attack. It just looked like he was going to run, and then he just kind of like... Uh, Threw it as far downfield as he could. Hearns actually got it. So it's first and goal. A minute 17 left in the half. We're in field goal range. They're running with me to the right side. I'm going to cut to the left. Ooh, I almost got clotheslined by my own guy. And they're still on your feet. I'm going to have to call a timeout. Ooh. So we actually get the ball back after halftime. Okay, so it's 13-7. to 7. We had to settle for a field goal because Blake Bortles has no idea what he's doing. So we should be up by probably uh, 10 points. But no, we're only up by less than a touchdown. So that's not very good. Oh, wow. They blew up that play real quick. First and 10 on our 38-yard line. I'm running the inside zone to the left side because, you know, they love that play. Let's see if it actually works this time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Stay on your feet. That should put us over 100 yards. Yup. 16 rushes, 105 yards, and a touchdown. If we can get another field goal here, this game will be pretty much over because I can't see them putting up more than a touchdown. I realistically can't see that. First and 10 on, on their 42. We're doing the HB pump draw. Oh, what a pump. Oh, yes, he just trucked through him. Yes, make that block. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Oh, man. God damn it. So we're at least getting a field goal here, if not more. Oh, this isn't going to work. This really, really is not going to work. It's the ISO play up the middle. We're on the six-yard line. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get six yards here. Get in there. That was my bad. But then was it, though? I went to the left side to block. That was what my assignment was. This play isn't going to work. I'm going for the end zone. Going for the end zone. I'm wide open. We actually scored. No way. Who scored? Is that Allen Robinson? That is not Allen Robinson. I don't know who that is. Westbrook, maybe? Who the hell was that? I honestly have no idea who that was. Sterling? Who is Sterling? He had to fight for that end zone, too. I don't even know if he got in. Did he get in? Oh, that's tough. Are they going to challenge that maybe? Oh, we're going for two, two? I'm surprised they didn't challenge that. I know in real life all scoring plays are reviewed, but I don't know if it's like that in Madden. I imagine it is, but still, that's kind of kind of weird. I'll make that block for you. Make that block for you. Get in there. Did he get in? He didn't get in. Really? I stand corrected, I guess. They scored a touchdown, so not getting that two-point conversion. Probably going to bite us in the ass. There's 543 left in the fourth quarter. We're running to the left side, which, of course, where, where else would we run? So we can get through that hole. Yes, 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 yes. Get away from him. Get away from him. That's going to put us close to 165 yards. Woo. No, Blake Bortles, come on. Blake Bortles just threw an interception when I was, I was just about to do some commentary and be like, he's actually playing pretty well. But now they get the ball back. Four minutes and four and a half minutes left in the in the game. Hopefully we can make a stop. Let's see if they'll actually stop them. I don't know why it's not showing up on the screen. You can see in the background they actually scored. I swear, 
If we lose to the San Francisco 49ers because Blake Bortles is absolute garbage, I'm going to be so mad. Absolutely mad. Come on. I'm wide open. That's not even a good pass. Here we are. We have two timeouts, a minute 50 left in this game. For some reason, we're doing the HB pump draw, which makes no sense whatsoever, but maybe I could break off a big run. We have plenty of time to get into field goal range and tie this game and go into overtime, which sickens me that I have even have to say that. Why am I going to overtime against the 1-13 in 13 49ers? We're going to have to run the hurry up, though, right? So let's go with the four verticals right here. I don't really like doing screens. I mean, I, I kind of don't really get a choice usually when we're picking plays, but... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to override that for a little bit. What is that? Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, we don't need to call a timeout or anything. I don't even think we need to hurry it up. Blake Bortles is going to make me have a heart attack. Like, he doesn't really care if they lose or anything like that. But me, on the other hand, I want to make the playoffs. I want to keep this series going. So it's second and ten. We're doing the HB draw right up the middle. Let's even get some yardage. Oh, you got tripped up. No. I'm going to call a timeout. Well, here we are. Four down territory, fourth and nine, four verticals. We're leaving this up to Blake Bortles, which, as you know, that means we lose. That, that's exactly what that means. Maybe. Oh, my God, he caught the ball. No way. Are they going to show me a replay of that? I would love to see a replay of that. They're not going to show me one, are they? Third and goal, and you know what they're doing? They're putting the ball in my hands. They've finally learned a thing or two. Why isn't it showing me the play? We are doing the HB stretch to the right side. I can promise you that. So let's just see if we can get in here. Nope. It looks like we're going into overtime. We are in overtime. We're getting the ball first, and they're running the ball with me, as they should. As they absolutely should. This game should not be this close. Not even a little bit this close. Somebody block, please. Second and seven. We're running to the other side. Maybe we'll catch them off guard. Oh, we actually did. We actually did. Get away from him. Will they just learn to just run the ball with me every single play? Unless it's at the beginning of the game. When we're near the end of the game, give me the ball. I'll try to score. If, if not, Blake Bortles is going to blow the game. So you might as well just run it with me anyways. Get around the edge. No, 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 no. Stay on your feet. He, uh, he's still on his feet. Oh my, I'm going to bring you guys along for this one. This isn't usually a play I would commentate over, but it's third and 26. Third and 26. Obviously, it's not four down territory, so we need to get a first down here. Oh, he's actually going to bomb it right to the other team. That's wow. They probably should have intercepted that. It makes more sense. No, I guess they should have intercepted that. I'll bring you guys along for this too. Let's see if we lose the game. Nine yard punt return. Not too bad. Four yard rush by Hightower. Don't know who that is. Second and six. Oh, great. Brian Hoyer to Pierre Gosson. 11 to Pierre Gosson again. Great. They're in field goal range. We are going to lose this game because Blake Bortle can't make a goddamn decision. We just lost this game. Wow. How did we lose this game? Did we make a turnover? No way. Thank you, Brian Hoyer. Thank you for blowing this for your team, Brian Hoyer. I really appreciate it. What are you doing? How am I supposed to win? That's, that's like literally my only question. It's second and 23. That was a 13-yard sack. We might tie. I don't, is a tie. Would a tie be a good thing? I don't even know. Obviously, we're not going to get a first down on that. What is it going to be, third and 21? Woohoo! I think we might get a tie, which a tie is a better than a loss. Huh. I might actually go check out the standings after this. Usually, I just throw the stats, but okay, oh, great, another sack. Usually, I just I throw I show the stats, and then I end the video. I might show the stats and then check out the standings. So we lost the game, which sucks. 25-22. We'll check out the stats, and then I am gonna look at the standings. I'll simulate the week, and then we'll check out the standings. Brian Hoyer, 21 for 36, 245, two touchdowns and an interception. Blake Bortles, 11 for 19, 214, a touchdown and interception because you're terrible. Leonard Fournette, 26 rushes, 185 yards and a touchdown. Hightower, who I don't really know who he is, 22 rushes, 87 yards and a touchdown. Curly, Jeremy Curly, seven catches for 68 yards. Pierre Garçon, six for 77. Rivera, four for 41. Vance McDonald, three for 33. He's on the, the Steelers in real life, I believe. Marquise Lee, 2 for 46. Allen Robinson, 2 for 72. He had a huge catch near the end of the game. Then they, they have an Aldrich Robinson, 2 for 38. Nothing really else to look at right here. All right, I'm going to go check the standings. I'll show you guys. I'll see you in a second. So this is what the AFC playoffs look like. The Broncos, Patriots, and Titans already clinched. 
The Steelers won, but the Chiefs also lost. So let's see. We're playing the Titans. The Titans already have clinched, so in theory, they shouldn't play their starters. I don't know how that works in this game. Let's see if we can see who the Chiefs are playing. Week 17, where are the Chiefs? Where are the Chiefs? The Chiefs are playing the Broncos, who might also sit their players. Oh, that is not good. So we need to, need to, need to win this next game. But that is going to do it for today, guys. If you like this video, give it a like down below. If you want to get daily Madden 18 content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Come back for more, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.